Since the first reported sightings of moving statues in SD and Balance Spittle, there have been claims of apparitions, movements, and even spoken messages from most parts of the country. And happenings of all kinds are being reported almost daily now. But how numerous are these phenomena worldwide? There have been about 250 claims of apparitions throughout the church um, from 1928 to 1983. How many of those have been proved to be real apparitions? Well, none of those that have taken place within that period of time have received positive approval from the church. I visited the grotto and after reciting the rosary with my family, I hung on the grotto and I saw Our Lady as a real person moving her head and smiling. And I thought I was imagining things at first and I didn't want to let myself imagine it. So I blessed myself when I finally realised that I was seeing Our Lady and I started to cry and I said, Dear Queen of Heaven, I said, You are the Queen of Heaven. And I said, Why did you pick me? And I said, Please bless all my family. And I left in after that and people, locals then heard about the statue moving and they came. And what was the basic message? The basic message each night was peace and prayer and that the world must improve. With the reported sightings have come the inevitable commercial interests, although even pilgrims have to eat and drink, and they arrive on foot, by car, and by special bus. I see a number of dangers in it myself. I, I think, first of all, that, that there's a danger that religion itself would be brought into disrepute. I think there's a danger that religion itself, genuine religion, would be ridiculed. And I think there's a danger that good prayerful people, and there are many good prayerful people out there, would have their expectations unduly aroused. And I think there's a danger, thirdly, that vulnerable people, fragile people, you know, people who, who are particularly susceptible to suggestion, might be emotionally or psychologically disturbed. And I think there's a danger, and this is an important one for me anyway, I think there's a danger that with all this movement, we tend to turn Mary into a marionette. Now, I, don't, I know people don't want to do that, but there's a danger there. And I know I'm putting it simplistically now when I say that I think that Mary's function is not to move herself, but to move us. But the reported apparitions multiply. Here at Gary Owen in Limerick, one of the hands of this statue is said to have shed blood. People gather, sometimes in hundreds, sometimes in groups of half a dozen, in the hope that they'll see a repetition. I think there has to be an element of contagion there of one place picking it up from another. And I've met a number of ordinary, sensible people who are taking a second look at statues, just in case. Now, and I've caught myself doing it from time to time, just in case. And in that kind of climate, I think that people are very impressionable and open to suggestion, and that the imagination can very easily play tricks. Did you see any of the statues moving? Oh, I didn't. No, I didn't see any statue moving. But as I tell you, I looked a few times at a statue just in case. And that's why I think that in this kind of climate we're very open to a suggestion. At Cratlow in County Clare, as in dozens of other sites around Ireland, Hundreds have been flocking to pray and stare since the statue was first reported to have moved. Several people now claim to have seen the statue move. Meanwhile, across the country in County Wicklow, a statue on a windswept stretch of coastline at Arklow is said by several people to have moved. Day and night since then, the crowds have gathered to pray and lay flowers at the feet of the statue. It was here I met the woman who ultimately led me to see a statue apparently move. That statue was at Avoca, about six miles away. We just went over and you could see it move and just going slowly. From side to side? Yeah. And then you could see the base, you know, that she was standing on, you could see that. So then we walked up closer and we got to look at the side and you could see it as well. You could see it moving from the side as well. There's no doubt in your mind? No. And even the funny thing when we went up, you know the way the trees are blowing like that? It was blowing and all of a sudden it just stopped and there wasn't a sound. You know, the trees are not and everything was dead. And the statue's still moving. And it was moving, yeah. Here in Avoca, standing at the back of the crowd, I clearly saw the statue shimmering, a kind of quivering effect, 
witnessed simultaneously by several people beside me, but not by the camera, which was filming at the same time. One possible explanation um, of an optical basis of it would be something called the autokinetic effect. And essentially the situation with the uh, phenomenon here is that if you're looking fixedly at a dimly illuminated object in a dark background, then um, this tends to move around of its own free will, as it were. And we think this may have uh, some relationship to eye movements, but um, the circumstances of viewing something in a dim environment and fixing straight at it might well explain such movements. And blinking seems to remove uh, this shimmering effect. Yes, um, the phenomenon seems to take uh, an appreciable time to build up and blinking would presumably break this time span so that you would have to start building up the sensation from scratch after blinking.